And keeping it local this morning, is there someone you know that should be honored for the good they do in the community? Somebody who is an inspiration? Well, now you have the chance to nominate someone to be spotlighted for the work they do. Joining us now in studio this morning is Ryan Good, President and CEO of Foundations Health and Wellness or Health and Wholeness. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us about Foundations Health and Wholeness and why it was created. Yeah, so we are a nonprofit organization. We've been around in this community since 1965. And there are three programs that make up foundations. One is mental health counseling. The second is foster care. And the third is called RAISE, which is working with at-risk youth of homelessness and runaway. Like what types of services do you offer? So we offer counseling services uh, where people come in and they uh, see a therapist. Uh, we recruit licensed trained foster parents in our community and place foster children in those homes. And then we offer basic needs type services, mediation for kids that are at risk of running away or homelessness. And so why is an organization like this so needed in our community? Well, because yeah, you know with the times right now, mm -hmm. mental health is at mm -hmm. an all time high in terms of uh, yeah, getting the support people need. Um, and so we're here to provide that support uh, to individuals, uh, whether they have the financial means uh, necessary for these services or not. Now, what is the Ethics in Action Awards program? Yeah, so the Ethics in Actions Award program is a staple in our community. It's been around for the last decade and a half. And basically, it's a time where we come together and honor individuals that are putting ethics into action and so we highlight people that are creating healthy workplaces, schools, and neighborhoods. Um, and then also this event goes to raise the crucial funds needed uh, for people in our community that need mental health care that oftentimes cannot afford it. And so you're looking for nominations right now. So what yes. other types of qualities would make a good candidate? Yeah, so really we're, working, we're looking for everyday people that see a gap or a need in their community in their school, in their workplace, and do steps, take steps to meet that need. Um, and yeah, again, just create a healthy environment. Give us an example of some of the past winners. Then. Yeah, so some past winners, we had uh, an individual that organized grocery delivery for elderly individuals mm -hmm. in the peak of COVID who couldn't get out, it wasn't safe for them. Um, so they organized this grocery delivery We've had another individual in our community who created a support group for elderly Spanish-speaking adults uh, just to help them live their best lives. Uh, we had another individual um, in their workplace at the Cassandra Voss Center that created anti-racism programming and advocacy. Um, so those are just some of the, the examples of people who've received ethies in the past. Now, is there an age requirement? Can it be anywhere from teen to senior citizen? Exactly, yeah. Teens aged 13 and above. Okay. Um, and yeah, any adult who is just doing some neat things in this community to enhance it. What does the person who is selected receive? They receive what's called an ethy award. Mm -hmm. And so it's recognition um, regarding whatever work uh, um, or ways that they've impacted. Uh, these schools, workplaces, and communities. Um, and then at the awards uh, banquet, uh, we highlight them, create a video, and share their stories to inspire others. And so how does somebody nominate a person and when's the deadline? If you go to wearefoundations.org, uh, there's a tab that shows ethics in action. Click on that and it'll take you through the nomination process. Mm -hmm. The deadline is this Tuesday, May 31st okay. for this year's ethies. Uh, so please, Nominate someone soon. All right, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. So if you know somebody in the community doing something good, nominate them. Let's take a look now at our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera. We are looking in Manitowoc right now. It's 52 degrees. The rain has not started yet, but we know it's on the way. Jordan is up next in Weather of the Fives, and he'll tell us when.